When your child is admitted to the surgical care unit, there are some things you'll need to know. Our surgical care unit is a place where your child will receive comprehensive care from your healthcare team. Our team of surgeons meet every morning at 6 a.m. for surgical rounds. They visit every patient to check in on them. Then they'll be back in the afternoon to check in on your child. We know you have a lot going on around you, so feel free to use the whiteboard in the room to write down any questions you have throughout the day to get ready for rounds. In addition to team rounds, you will be visited by your bedside nurse every few hours. We come in to monitor things like temperature, heart rate, breathing, and blood pressure. In the room, we use several machines to monitor your child's activity. Your child may have an IV. This is an intravenous catheter. This allows us to provide fluids and medication to your child with ease. Your child may be attached to monitors. These help us track your child's heart rate, breathing rate, and blood pressure. If your child is going for a burn dressing change in the operating room, our team will prep you before you go down, and then once the procedure is completed, you will come back to the unit. Burn dressing changes can also be performed at the bedside on the surgical care unit. It allows us to administer pain medications and also prepares you to learn the burn dressing change process for when you go home. Your child's nutrition is a very important part of their healing process. After a burn occurs, your child's body must work extra hard to get better. A good balance of their high protein and high calorie diet will give the child the energy to heal. Sometimes children are not able to take in enough food or nutritional supplements by mouth to meet their increased nutrient needs. And in this case, they might require a feeding tube for a period of time. This will really help to get started meeting their increased nutrient needs right away and help support the healing process early on. The tube is inserted into the nose, down the throat, and the feedings go into the stomach. It's very simple. It's important to note that if your child needs a feeding tube, it should stay in place. It also allows your child to eat when they feel like eating and don't have the added pressure of eating when they don't. Typically, the child can continue to eat by mouth throughout the day and receive the tube feeds at night while the child sleeps to help reach their goal calorie and protein needs. Children also often need to drink nutritional supplements after a burn to help meet their increased nutrient needs. Examples of nutrition supplements include Carnation Instant Breakfast Essentials, Boost, Ensure, or Pediasure. These are protein-rich shakes that provide vitamins, minerals, and calories. They're also an excellent way to help fill the nutritional gap in your child's diet. Whether you're staying in the hospital or at home, it is important to remember that your child needs extra calories and protein. There are all kinds of flavors, so we can work together to find some they like. It is better to drink these as opposed to juices. Talk to your healthcare team if you're worried your child isn't taking in enough calories. We work hard to make sure your child receives the best possible medical care while you're here. And part of that process is making sure that the atmosphere in the room is comfortable for you and your child so that recovery and treatment can go as well as possible. A social worker will meet with you once your child gets settled into the room. Our job is to make sure that you are supported so that you can love and support your child. And we wanna make sure that you understand the treatment process, stay engaged in it, are comfortable asking questions and discussing things with us. During your child's stay in surgical care, your child will be awake and active. Bring items your child likes to play with or things that provide comfort, like a blanket from home or photos of your family. It's a really good idea to have the things they like to do here and to keep them entertained. We also have resources for you to help you stay rested and to reassure you through the admission. We have a parent sleeping room where you can go to rest for a few hours. We have showers where you can get refreshed. We have a place where you can wash your clothes. We have a cafeteria for you to get some food. We also have a family room where there are computers for you to use as you need. It's important for you to remember that your team is here to help you. You can always contact your healthcare team with any questions or concerns.